Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Markers and today I'm going to show you guys my PC game collection for the month of June 2017. So for those of you guys interested on a few tips and pointers, I'll be making a video for that very soon. But without further ado, let's get into what I'm currently playing. So starting off the list, I have Alan Wake. Alan Wake is a game that just recently went off the Steam page because of music copyright issues. And it just came off, so now you can't buy it anymore. I would imagine there's still ways to get it, but it's not available in the actual store anymore. Down below it is Alan Wake's American Nightmare. I've heard it's about an hour or so. Uh, this one is still currently on the Steam homepage, so if you don't want to buy that, you can. And then down here I have the arcade game series Dig Dug, Galaga, and Pac-Man. Um, I kind of bought these on a whim. I think it was a roughly $2 or so. It's basically a way so that I can play the classic games that I like sometimes without having to go on the internet. And here I can also keep track of my game time, which is pretty cool. Uh, down below that we have Injustice Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition. Now I've had this game for a while and I haven't played it. Main reason is because it's a fighting style game. It's a 2D fighting game and to be honest I have never really had any experience with those types of games aside from Super Smash Bros but that's com completely different the reason I really decided to start playing this was because I'm on a DC comic kind of binge phase right now so I've really been into it really been looking into all the heroes and whatnot so this is again another way I can go more into the heroes by playing this game now <laughs> One thing that I've really been annoyed by is Injustice 2 is not on PC. Do I know when it's coming out? No, I don't think there's been a release date for it yet, even though it's on console. So, there's that. Uh, currently in the Taking a Break category, we have Mad Max. It's an open world adventure game that's basically just car porn. That's about it. That's the game summed up in about two words. Car porn. Below it is Mafia 2, a game I will probably never finish. It's very good value though, pretty fun. It is the story of a kid who goes to the Mafia, and yeah, Mafia 2, pretty good. Uh, and then below that we have Pac-Man 256, it's a pretty good game. I've played it for, you know, two hours. It's a game that I've really only ever been able to really like sit down and play for about 15 minutes at a time. I never really thought it was amazing, but it's another Pac-Man, so it's pretty decent. You know what you get when you buy Pac-Man 256. The only difference is that there are power-ups in that game, so... Let's go ahead and continue off with everything else in my categories. I have Batman, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight. I also have Origins, but that's in a different category. Um, Origins is the only one I finished, but I am interested in playing Arkham Knight. The only thing I'm not looking forward to are the uh, car, uh, you know, using the Batmobile offer. That's very bad. Bioshock 1 and 2 Remastered, Borderlands 1, the pre-sequel, and 2 is in a separate category, but uh, Borderlands 1 and the pre-sequel. Uh, pre-sequel, first off, don't buy it unless you're Australian. You're not going to get any of the humor. Borderlands 1 is very, very good. Call of Duty Black Ops 2, 3, Modern Warfare 2, and World at War. They're Call of Duty is enough said. Dirt 3 and Dirt Showdown. Final Fantasy 3 and 4. Here in the indie category, it's a category that I just added. Here I have all or most of the indie games that I currently have. Crypt of the Necrodancer, Factorio, Grow Home, Gunman Taco Truck, definitely my, my favorite indie game. Kathy Rain. Kentucky Route Zero, and Plus Plus, Oxen Free, Shovel Knight, Treasure Trove. This game is literally on every single goddamn platform right now. Like, literally, it just got a port to the Nintendo Switch. Oh, man. That's just amazing. Right below that, we have Slime Rancher and Undertale. For the JRPGs, we have Hattleful Boyfriend, a bird dating simulator that... Let's just say, if you like birds, you will definitely get your jollies off with this game. Below that is Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 Full Burst. That's a mouthful, and it's a game I probably won't play. Nier Automata and Tales of Zestiria. This game is very... mediocre. Below that we have Mass Effect 1 and 2. 
I'm not really interested in playing 3 or Andromeda, so there's that. Below that we have Retired, these are all the games that I've played enough of to really feel like I've got my money's worth. So here, Batman Arkham Origins, pretty decent game. I tried playing the hard mode earlier, uh, not earlier today, but in the past, and it was definitely harder uh, for those of you guys looking for a challenge. Once you get past the original mode, there's a hard mode, and it's pretty interesting. Um, anyway guys, it's a pretty decent game. It's the Black Sheep of the Arkham series, but I would still say it's pretty decent. Below that we have The Beginner's Guide, a very, very good narrative uh, game. It only takes an hour and a half to complete, and honestly, I could have returned it, but I thought the game was good enough to warrant keeping it and possibly playing it again later. Below that is The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. It's a pretty good game. Pretty good game. This could go in the indie games, but it is retired because I've played more than enough of it. Borderlands 2, this is the game that I've currently played the most time on. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Would recommend for any new person to PC gaming. Skyrim, you know how I said Shovel Knight, right, is um, on every single goddamn platform in existence? No, this game is on every single goddamn platform, and it's about to get a VR version very soon. Oh my god, Bethesda literally is trying to milk every single penny they can out of this game. They're sharing it to death, and honestly, yeah, it was a really good game, though. Would recommend it for a beginner uh, to PC gaming. Plans vs. Zombies Game of the Year Edition, pretty good game. I've played through it four times. Rocket League and Stardew Valley, a farming simulator. Below that, we have The Witcher franchise 1, 2, and 3. The 1 didn't age very well, but 2 and 3 are okay. Uh, here I have my trash. These are either games that I don't like, uh, don't have a use for, or just they actually are trash. Or, you know, of course, game genres that I don't like that's also in there. Choice Chamber, Command & Conquer 3, Contagion, Cthulhu Realms. This game is, in fact, shite. Dungeon of the Endless. I might play this one of these days. I probably need to move that soon. Faria, it's a pretty cool card game. I'm not really into card games anymore. I used to really be into Hearthstone and Yu-Gi-Oh! in the past, but I kind of lost uh, my love for card games, so it was good, though. I played 10 hours of it, so, you know. Uh, Grim Dawn, Jackbox, Party Pack 2, NBA 2K16, this game, oh, don't, don't, I'm not, unless you love sports. Needhog, Poi, Rise, Son of Rome, this game is basically a demo. Sid Meier's Civilization 3, Four and five, including Civilization, Warlords, oh, and five, I guess, here. Sturden, uh, very, very boring. I played it for nine minutes, and I felt like I got everything out of it. Supreme Commander, Forged Alliance, and Wasted. Here, we have games that I will play eventually. Um, not all of these I did pay for. Again, I haven't played for every single game here, but... Um, a lot of them were free. So Abzu, Anomaly, Warzone, Earth, I, again, I got this one for free, I've never touched it. Bad Rats, got it for the memes, Beyond Eyes, Bro Forest, Call of Juarez, Gunslinger, Cartesian, CSGO, Darkest Dungeon, Darkness 2, Darksiders 2 and 1, Dishonored, Doom, Duke Nukem Forever, Dungeons 2, Enslaved, Odyssey to the West, Premium Edition. Below that, we have Fallout 4, New Vegas, The Forest, GTA 5, Grid, Hotline, Miami 2, wrong number, Killing Floor, Left 4 Dead 1, 2, very good games, Life is Strange. This game is apparently getting a sequel, which is pretty cool. I never finished the original, but that's for good reasons. Um, I'm not really planning on ever getting the sequel, though. I think I've gotten more than enough of my tea and soap opera drama dating simulator type game so definitely going to be doing a hard pass on the second below that we have limbo metro 2033 redux and last light redux middle earth shadow of mordor nuclear throne octodad deadliest catch outland papers please planetary annihilation titans risk of rain a pretty cool looking game saints row 2 this game aged kind of poorly eh it was okay uh, Shadow Complex Remaster, Shadow Warrior, Spec Ops Alliance, Spelunky, Six Masters of Shadows, Tembo the Badass Elephant, Tropical 4, Visceric Cleanup Detail, Shadow Warrior, Warhammer, 40,000 Eternal Crusade, and XCOM 2. Below that, we have games that I haven't put into a category yet. Marvel Heroes 2016. 
This is a game that is free to play, and it's basically an adventure game with Marvel heroes. I don't know if I'm ever really going to touch this thing very often because I'm not really into Marvel. I know very few of the Marvel I know very few of the Marvel heroes, excuse me, but the ones I do know of are okay. Um, just a lot of characters I don't know and I quite frankly don't care for. Below that we have Paladins. This is a game very similar to Overwatch. Um, it is free to play, so if you want to maybe buy Overwatch in the future, you can buy this game and see if you like it. If you do, chances are you're going to love Overwatch. And that's it. Thanks everybody for watching, and I'll catch you all later.